In this video, it is assumed that you know what the different components of a PowerPoint 2010 application are and what, how to navigate between all the different tabs here. Also, it is assumed that you know how to create a basic slide. The basic idea is that you do the outline first, go and fill out the outline first, and then you can go and customize it. So we are at that point of customizing the presentation. Just in case you have not referred to the previous tutorial, to create a new slide, you simply go to wherever you want to insert a new slide, and then you click on New Slide here and choose the type of slide that you want to insert. Notice as you are inserting a new slide, you can also choose to duplicate current slides, or you can use reuse slides. So if you have a PowerPoint from another time that you have put together, you can bring and reuse those slides by clicking on this option. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to click on that at this point, but that's how and where that option is. So in our case, if we wanted to just include a new slide, we simply click on title and content. This is the most common one. And then we can put a title here. Of course, you could do this from the outline. So now let's assume that this is our outline for our PowerPoint. And now we want to customize this and improve on it. So to customize this further, the first step that I'd recommend that you do is to go under the Design tab and then apply one of the other designs here. Notice in uh, Office 2007, 2010, Microsoft has put together a bunch of themes to make things easier. And those themes, notice there's a drop down here where you can choose whatever choice that you want. So let's uh, choose this temporarily and notice that all the slides in our slideshow have changed at this point. So the easiest, even if you just created an outline to start with and just apply a basic design, you still have something to show at this point. And notice it was with one single click. If you do not like these color choices, you can also choose to customize the design further and you can go under colors here and choose a different color scheme. This is going to customize things accordingly automatically. You can also change the fonts, type of font for all the slides in your slideshow, and then the effects. You can also customize the background as to what the background is going to look like. It is recommended, as in the guidelines, that you use a whitish background with a nice design. One other tip here as we are working with PowerPoint, if there is um, an option or something that you're constantly utilizing, you can always add this function from within one of those tabs to the quick access toolbar here on the top. And the way you add something in there is by simply right clicking on it and choose to add gallery to quick access toolbar. In that way, the gallery will always show up automatically here and it will be easier to access. Now that you change the design, again, you can change the designs for a single slide here or for all the slides. If I want only a specific slide to be changed, you can right click on that slide or, or actually if you go here under the drop down, you can right click on a design and choose to apply it to selected slides. So that's how you can choose a specific theme for a specific slide. So I'm going to do one that is very completely different here, so I'll apply it to selected slides. So notice the other slides are a different type and this one is different here. If you want multiple slides to be applying the same theme, you'd simply select more than one, hold down the control key and click on multiple slides, and then go and pick a theme, right click on the theme and choose apply to all selected slides. And notice just these two slides are different at this point. I'm going to undo this and this is where the function for undoing it is you press back and that will undo any of the changes that you have done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of those themes that we use here at Cairn and I'm going to apply this to all the slides in the selected slideshow. And now that has been changed. So, so far we learned how to add a new slide and also how to apply different designs to specific slides 
or all the slides in the slideshow and also customize the design somewhat. Before I finish on this section, if you like a specific design and you want to set that as a default for all the slides or you want to save it here under the designs, the way you do that is that once you have customized that specific uh, design to your liking, like this one, then you can click on the drop down here and choose to save the current theme. So once you choose to save the current theme, you can give it give it a name, save it, and then once it is saved, it should show up under custom here, and it should say test favorite theme, or whatever you named it. Once you have it listed, you can also set it as a default theme. So anytime you're creating a new slideshow, you can apply that specific design automatically. And this is how it works. You click on File, click on New, and as soon as you click on Blank Presentation, you'll always get this favorite design that you have. So this should save you some time overall.